Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to another Super Smash Brothers Ultimate versus. Yeah! Today's fan request is Vault Boy versus Min Min. Don't forget to like, girl. comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when more Smash Brothers arrives. And special shout outs to our members, including our Ultimates. Ultimates. You want to hop aboard the membership train? Just click right here and select the tier that works best for you. Yeah! So, Super Smash Brothers versus is back for the next uh, couple weeks, and we've got a doozy of a lot of requests based on your guys' selection, so. Oh, you. Cute. Min Min! All right, let's go. So, win -win. Fallout doesn't have his own uh, stage, so basically using the Cuphead music. But. Yeah, there you go. Old fashioned music, basically. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. All right, so I am Volt Boy. I've actually not played as Min Min yet, so. Mm -hmm. Or have I? No, I haven't. <laughs> no, you ah! not. Pew, pew, pew. So each of my arms is a different move. I like how they give him like a 50 style ray gun. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, I haven't played Fallout in so long. I did like Fallout 4, but I just... I did like Fallout 4. I wish we could have kept going. And the lady's name was Nora, or we made her name Nora. The one that was uh, frozen. Yeah. Something. I think... No, I think Nora was her name. Oh wow, that's weird. Yeah. Sorry, Ooh. old boy. But dinner's cancelled. We're kind of in a vault right now, it looks like it. Yeah, I chose this stage because I figured this would be like very um, Fallout-ish. Yeah. If the city was destroyed like in the background, it would have been I perfect. I can't remember why we stopped playing Fallout. Uh, probably had other games coming out. I mean, I think it came out before Arkham Knight or a little after, and it just didn't stick. I don't know. I don't remember. Ah. No. Missile. Ooh. Not cool. It has its moments. Ow. Okay. Yeah! This is what everybody's wanted to see, and uh, we'll also be doing a lot with the Fallout character in this, so... Awesome. Yeah, because there's people that want, like, Fallout versus Mario and all kinds of stuff. There we go. No! I'm, I'm a little slower with this guy, but I'm, I'm getting there. Little by little. Well, Luke's had a late night of editing, so we'll see if I can take advantage of that. Oh! Haha, <laughs> 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 I'm behind no! you. Ah, 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 ah. That's what. Fall out, boy! No! Min Min! Yeah, if you're wondering who uh, Vault Boy listens to, it's Fall Out Boy. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah. <sighs> Probably. I saw Night Begins to Shine again, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is just so good. It's like, why couldn't Teen Titans go feel like this? Why? Oh, if they had another Teen Titans, like, show where they were in a weird 80s universe like that, it would be cool. It would, if they did, like, be completely Night cool. Begins to Shine Titan show. It'd be epic. But no, they never will. They're just gonna keep trolling people. Ah! I don't know. Booyah! I'm trying to think of what this stage reminds me of. It's Wrecking Crew. Oh. Okay. It's a Nintendo game from a long time ago. No! Why? Hehe. <laughs> Min Min is sad. Min Min's very sad. Whoops. Alright, I am not doing Min Min justice, but. Oh, somehow I was able to do both arms at once? Yeah, you told me that. So you could do oh. both. She has no super moves, remember? So you control both her arms at the same time. So you can. Come here! You could also do them separately. Like, you can follow up with a combo, like punch once with the A button and then immediately. There you go. See? Whoa! That's, that's kind of handy, isn't it? Whoa! That's different. Yep. She takes some getting used to, but she's a lot of fun. Nope, bye. Why, Bolt Boy? Why, Volt? Not You're, Volt. You were, you were too eager, that's why. Volt Boy. Pew! Volt Boy. Nope. Oh, oh alright. No! Oh, you survived, you stinker. Kind of. I'm really bad at doing the grab move. The grapple? Yeah, the, well, the move where I come back. I come back move. Up B. Uppie! 
Ooh. Ugh. Not over yet. Oh. Yeah, Min Min is really different to play as, so... It's not for the faint of heart or for the button mashers, I feel like. No, she is a uh, long-range character, so... Oh Ooh, my yeah. goodness. Oh boy. Now, I remember Sakurai saying on this stage, uh, Min Min can bounce people off of the top of the stage and stuff. Or something like that. She can bounce people? Yeah, like, bounce them off the top of the stage or something. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I misheard that. I don't know. I was trying to pay attention, but... Uh, basically, I was overwhelmed by Sakurai's ability to play with two different controllers yeah, at the same time. Yeah, he always does that. <sighs> He's just like, so it's easier for me. I'm just gonna set these controllers up on this little ottoman in front of me in, in my house so mm. I can play with both of them at the same time. I'm just like... There would be no easy way that I would be playing two people at once. He's like, so it's easier for me. It's like, I don't really think there's any easy way to play with two controls at one time, but okay. I would love to see somebody who was able to... Because there are some people that can... Well, usually if people lose the uh, feeling in their arms, the, they you learn to use their feet to do things. But if somebody was able to somehow use their feet and their hands at the same time, hmm. it would be really interesting. It would be interesting. <clears throat> I don't know how that would work. Well, I mean, uh, Sakurai is just kind of amazing that he's able to yeah, do that. Yeah, I just, I can't, I don't know if he practiced that over and over again for hours on end or what. Could have. <laughs> I guess the world will never know. He just has many secrets. Uh, ow. Pew pew. Hey now. Let's, let's not get crazy there. Oh. Feisty! I'm getting feisty. Here you are. Ooh, yeah. Whoa! No! Yay! Not cool. Come on, bold boy. Come at me! I'm in, in the brave. Careful what you wish for. <laughs> oh! oh! I don't know why, but this reminds me of that scene in the Avengers where this entire building comes down and Hulk gets pummeled through it. That was close. You mean Hulk breaks the building? Yeah. Because usually being pummeled is not a good thing. Like, I think they had to take Hulk down because it got out of control. Ah. I don't know which Avengers movie it was in. Age of Ultron. But then, like, I guess somebody had to be in the Hulk suit or something. Suit that's Tony. like the Hulk. Yep, Hulk Buster. See, I can only vaguely remember what happened in those movies. Yeah, you're Sorry. talking about Age of Ultron. That's fine. Ah. ah! Thank you for clarifying that. Mm-hmm. So, is Tony Stark in the Hulkbuster suit stronger than Hulk, or no? No. Really? He just can barely hang on, then, when Hulk is destroying him. Uh, I mean, it's better than fighting him in the Iron Man suit. Yeah. I mean, they were able to, to calm Hulk down, and that's how Tony survived. Oh, yeah. But I thought Hulk was always angry. <laughs> yeah, but so he was confused. going... He was going crazy for some reason. I don't remember. I've only seen Age of Ultron once or twice. Yeah. I didn't really like it just because... I didn't like the fact that their whole point of... Uh... You know, like... Having to save the world was the fact that Tony Stark accidentally invented Ultron and then he ended up destroying the world. So it's like, it's kind of the Avengers' own fault to begin with, so it was kind of like ridiculous. I like how me. they introduced Ant Man after the whole Ultron thing because Ant Man was the one to create Ultron. It's just, oh, that's, yeah. that's kind of why I didn't like Age of Ultron. I was like, oh, they had Tony do it. It's like, meh. Even though, in reality, Ant-Man was the one who created Ultron, so... Hank did it, yep. Or Hank, yeah. Yeah, they kind of stole... They kind of took some of Hank's attributes and put them on Tony Stark. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's why, like, in the cinematic and universe and of a lot of things, like, they did the same thing with Barry Allen and, and uh, Wally West, where they took stuff from Wally West and they... Put it on Barry Allen, like, they mm -hmm. even had him date some of the same people. It was just like... Uh, oh yeah, when he was so dating weird. Linda Park, that was weird. 
Oh, he's like, no, odd. don't do that. Don't make, don't bring Linda into the show. You can't oh, do that. And now it's like they'll be never be able to be a wall, because but they did the same thing with Arrow and Batman, where they took a lot of Batman stories and then made them Arrow stories, or very similar. Yep. So to save uh, the Batwoman show, it's I think it's being renamed, and Batman is showing up now, like actually in costume. Oh wow! They have to because. Um, it's just not gonna work out the same way. So, uh, the Kate Kane character is gonna disappear, and then, um, because the actress quit, they're gonna get somebody to become oh the new gosh. Batwoman. And then, when Thomas, or not, yeah, Thomas Elliot is masking a rating as Bruce Wayne, by the end of the season, it's gonna cause Batman to come back because mm. you're gonna find out why he went into retirement and stuff like that. They really wanted to take creative liberties with that show. They could add a second Batwoman, like just have it in the continuity. Like the first Batwoman is doing something else. So they have another, like her sister comes in or something. You could have made her sister. That would have been a good idea. Because they already uh, did that with the Black Canary thing. They could have mm -hmm. already done that. I, it already triggered me with Black Canary, but they might as well just... Yeah, because the sister is actually a really cool character in the show. And she's, uh... Um, I believe she's mixed or something like that. That would have been... See, I didn't even know she had a sister. I was just saying she should just have her sister. They here. made they made one up for the show. The fact that she already has a sister makes it even more possible, though. Since she's already in the show. Well, I mean, she had she had a sister, like a biological sister, and then her father got remarried, and she has another sister. Oh, so she has another... Oh, two sisters, yeah. basically. All right, Vault Boy has won the no. first match. Yes! That was cool. Say it's not so. Nope, it happened. All right, here we go. No, it didn't. It happened. Sad. So will will sad. Vault Boy continue to win? That's the question. He <sighs> looks like he has a smile on his face. He always has a smile on his face. It's time for the second match between Vault Boy and Min Min. Yay! And now we're in a desolate region because Fallout. <laughs> yeah, Ouch. That makes sense. It does, doesn't it? Well. The Ow. reason why I was thinking about all that stuff with different shows and stuff like that is because I've been watching Alias, obviously, and for, like, the first several seasons, Jennifer Garner is the main character, but as the show goes on, her sister appears in the show, and her sister has an awesome, like, Spanish accent. She's just as good of a spy. She's basically taking oh. on a lot of the other missions that cool. Jennifer Garner usually takes. So I was thinking, are they really going to make a different person the star of the show? Like, are they going to weed Jennifer Garner out? I don't know. I guess I'll keep watching. But I was just wondering if that's possible to start a show with one person and then weed them out and then, like, make the show about somebody else. I mm -hmm. don't know. Didn't they kind of do that with Arrow, didn't they? Where he was... I mean, if the character dies, then they get weeded out. I thought Oliver Queen died partway through his show or something. Yeah, he died in the end. Oh, in the end, okay. He's he's over. Arrow's over. That's how yeah. what happened to him. He died. I just wondered if it's possible if you can start a show and have the main character move to side character position <laughs> throughout the show. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know. I don't think it is. But anyway, people on the internet are freaking out because they were like, no, it, it's not supposed to be a Batman show. It's supposed to be Batwoman. And it's like, mm, you'll be lucky if the show survives after the second they, season when he comes back. They always bring Batman into most DC things when they need more... Yep. When they need more views for almost anything. Even Teen Titans Go, they brought Batman in <laughs> eventually. They also had to uh, bring in Joker in the Gotham show because the Gotham show was losing ratings, so oh, they wow. brought in a Joker-like character. See, there character. you go. They always bring in a character that people know more when the show is, like, needs better ratings. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Okay. You're getting used to Min Min a little bit now. Yeah. Look at how bold of me. Ah! Ha 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 Vault Boy. Now, you know what Vault Boy's role in, uh... He's the um, commercial guy. Yeah, Fallout is. He's the dude who gives you your instruction manual for life. <laughs> as he well tells as, you how to survive, but with a happy, smiling face. Yep, and showing all the horrible things that can happen to you. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's like he's the government commercial for, you know, stuff. And guys, we can't do anything about Shadow. I'm sorry, we, we live in a house with cats, and one of them is senile. She's very old, and she likes meowing randomly. We don't know why she meows. She's had her medicine today. She's supposed to be a good girl, but she's not. So, there's not much we can she's do about her it. She's had her food 
twice. I've had some people bring it up on live streams, like, why? What are you doing to your cat that makes her meow? It's like she's we don't ancient. do anything to her cat. We we rescued her from a place that she had twenty cats, like in yep. one tiny room. We actually give her a wonderful life here. It's a wonderful life. <clears throat> she's just kind of bratty and meows all the time. That's all. She's yeah. in pain because she has um, a disease. Yeah, she is. She, has she a gets renal. to take medicine, but we give her a medicine, so. Vault boy! Ow. Come on, Min Min! Her disease is called being old. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Just picture her like a cranky old. She doesn't really feel like a cranky old lady. It's like more like a cranky old man. Like, hey! Eh, you kids! Playing that game again? Get off my lawn! <laughs> oh man. Oof. Also, we have a theory that she forgets where she is. Yes. Because she's so old. If Luke stands up and shows her where he is, then sometimes she'll stop meowing. Yeah. Because she'll be like, oh yeah. So I was watching a video online about cats. And they said sometimes they're meowing, like they're communicating, but sometimes they're yowling. Which means they're just like doing like a distress beacon to try to find their tribe. So I guess like we're part of her cat tribe. Well, there's there's another thing too, like in our last house, the layout was a little bit different. So Shadow could easily see people like from coming down the stairs or when, um, you know, because you could you could see that living room was so much smaller. This one, it's more compact, but if the couches were open, she probably would be able to see people, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's that couch that's kind of, like, blocking her from uh. But then we have no place to put the other couch, so it's just kind of like, I don't, I don't know what to do. <clears throat> ah! No! Yeah, that's what I don't like. It's like, if you have a animal that has a health condition or something and you're a streamer or a youtuber people will never let you see hear the end of it because they always assume like the worst when you know you don't really don't know somebody's situation they could be really taking care of an animal that might be sick and you don't know yep mm. oh yeah you know, i had a pastor that had a puppy that was like back in massachusetts he had this puppy that they took in from the the, whatever you call it. I don't know if it was the pound or the shelter, but the puppy looked awful, like so scruffy and really messed up. But apparently the puppy was a lot worse before. He just wanted to take care of it and make it better. So you never know somebody's situation. Mm hmm Oh, the internet always wants to try to rescue somebody and it's like... <laughs> we did rescue her from a shelter and she eats better than we do. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We like if we if I only have pasta or air to eat for the week, my cats will have their food. And now my cats get fed three times a day because oh my, my vet told me it's better for her them to have smaller meals, so I feed them each like a half a can three times a day, so Oh wow. It's just like they've I've been doing that for a while. That's why she doesn't meow as much. She were yeah, well. Well, now she is, but she already got fed twice this morning. Ooh, yeah. Bye bye, Min Min! Yeah! Uh oh, Amber, you're in trouble. I am? You're in trouble. Oh, I, was, I wasn't even paying attention, I was like talking. Ooh. Alright, I guess Talk, I'll get a little bit more vicious. Chew because... gum at the same time. Nope. Oh my gosh. Oh, that range. Yeah, if you can learn to use Min Min's range, I mean, she really packs a punch. My dude is kind of a... He's a long-range character in a sense, but... Um, it's just a me fighter. Me! Oh! Min! There we go. Oh, Min Min, I have my lucky red color on, too. I'm supposed to be lucky. This winner is Vault Boy! Sadness! Oh, yeah. I'm All right, laughing, but I'm angry. Though. I know. All right, guys and gals, that is going to do it for today's Super Smash Brothers Versus. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay tuned later today for more Xenoblade, and we'll see you with more Super Smash Brothers tomorrow. Stay tuned later tonight for an awesome live stream on something else. And uh, thanks so much for sort of supporting Kamen's Let's Plays. God bless and happy gaming. See you.